This is the best defense to use in Madden 24. It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks. And the most interceptions you will ever get in the game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using to get results like this, thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays used in today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos offense and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can always download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's gameplay, I'm going to be facing the two most broken offenses in the game, starting with the fastest offense in Madden history in the overpowered Miami Dolphins. With players so fast, I can just run around your entire defense. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and i appreciate the support the defense i'll be using again today is my big nickel over g as this is one of the best defenses in the game that wasn't addressed in the october patch that nerfed so many blitzes and since i'm facing such a fast offense this is the perfect formation to get as much speed on the field as possible to match since i can put safeties and cornerbacks at every position on the field except for the defensive line i start by putting my two slot corners and avante max and isaiah rogers at the deep safeties then i put my two fastest safeties in ed reed blankenship aka chalk dog i Save my fastest, most talentless cornerback in Keely Ringo for the third box safety, as his only job is going to be blitzing the quarterback 90% of the time. The four plays that I'll be using the most are my SS linebacker blitz and linebacker blitz for pressure, the SS blitz three for deep coverage, which is also a good blitz, and the star of this scheme and today's video in the cover six, which is my best base defense for his run and pass, and probably the best zone coverage used in the game. I will also make sure to set my zone coverage to match and my auto alignment to base so that these coverages all look the same pre-snap as we choose cover six on the very first play and almost get a cover sack as nothing is open i try to never call the same play two times in a row in this scheme to keep my opponent guessing so on the next play i call the ss linebacker blitz Woo! And one of the best things about this is that you really don't have any setup at all, as these two coverages are definitely my favorite. Got and we get an interception on the third play of the game, as this coverage is definitely the most confusing for most opponents. The offense I'll be using in today's gameplay is once again my gun wing flex offset, but I'm mostly going to be focusing on defense in today's video. So if you want to see more about this, I made an entire Ooh. breakdown of this offense, and I will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. I run the ball on the very first play to get inside the five before switching to the double drags and getting my tight end wide open in the back of the end zone. Back on defense, my opponent has completely changed his offensive philosophy after just three plays against his defense. As he started the game out in a bunch of empty backfield spread offensive looks to try to air it out, but now he's coming out in a heavy under center look to try to pound the rock against my much smaller defense. Which brings me to some adjustments that you can make for better run defense, like pinching the defensive line for better inside run defense, and hard flatting for better outside run defense. But it looked like he changed plays here, so I spread the defense instead for a better pass rush, and he gets a big run. Oops. On the next play, he comes out under center again, so I spread the line and switch to another Manzer Blitz in the LB Blitz I mentioned earlier that sends both linebackers in hopes to clog those lanes. Only this time, he passes deep to Tyreek Hill, gotcha, bitch. but it's underthrown since Tua has a water pistol, and we get another interception. And we return it this time all the way back to field goal range, as we almost had a touchdown this time. On defense, he comes out in his own more obvious cover zero, so we bomb it up on the next two plays, but can't come down with it either time. Before he switches to man cover one, and I throw an interception expecting to be cover three. God damn it! He comes out under center again on the next drive, so I match with the linebacker blitz one more time. Get over here! This time, though, I actually set up my run defense by pinching the defensive line and spraying the linebackers outside to cut off these outside run lanes. Sit your ass down! Before I go back to the man's blitz on the next play, and my cornerback jumps the wheel route for the easiest pick six of his life. Now up a quick 14-0, he is pushing the ball down the field and trying to use the speed of these receivers to score fast and get back into this game. He goes back to an empty backfield look once again on the next play, so I send the house. And we get another big sack before he tries to pass again. Yeah. As we push him back to a fourth and 27 that he decides to go for. <laughs> 
My next game is against another cheat code speedster and 95 speed Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Another perfect opportunity to use this defense. I started this game out on offense, but since this is a defensive video, I just wanted to skip all that. So I just score in the opening kick return instead. Fuck you! On defense, everything is the exact same, including the results. No! As we shut down the run for a one yard loss in the very first play, before he hurries me up and tries to run again. Sit your ass down! Now in third and long, he's done with that experiment as he tries to pass to get himself out of this hole. So I call the SS Blitz 3 prevent once again. Got and we don't get the pressure this time, but we get another interception as this first drive looked exactly like the first last game. From here he goes to the cover zero blitz and it gets me into a quick three and out. What the hell was that? And since I didn't gain a yard, this is a tough kick. Back on defense, my opponent comes out in another empty backfield look before beating my man coverage with the drag on the very next play to get in the field goal range himself. But that hope is short lived as he tries to work his security blanket, Mark Andrews, gotcha, bitch. but gets picked off instead as we jump the route and return it back into his territory once again. He is still in cover zero and I still can't complete a pass. Nope. As I am probably trying too hard for the one play touchdown. And he gets me back into a fourth and ten one more time before I decide to go for it. and give him the ball right back in the exact same spot. Back on defense, he takes the exact same approach as the guy using the Dolphins and tries to bulk up to a two tight end set in hopes he can weak box his defense. How about no? But that's not happening. Before he switches back to an empty backfield, and I'm lucky that I had a lot of speed on the field to catch up, as I will have to watch that QB draw from now on before he punches in with a simple curl route to tie the game. Damn it! One of the best things about the Broncos playbook is that my favorite offense is hidden in this in the NFL Live version in the Gunstack Wide Flex. And since this formation has more options against Man Zero, I switch to that in hopes of getting my offense going. And I do complete a pass. <laughs> But that's it, as he is knocking out every single ball from my receivers in uncanny fashion, forcing me into another fourth down that I have to go for. So we're going to have to win this game with our defense, as he tries to run the ball in the next play and gets nothing, before the pressure forces a bad pass on the next play. We switch to cover six on the next play, and nothing is open once again as we get into a fourth and long that he decides to go for, only he actually gets it. And now I'm down a touchdown at the end of the first quarter. But not for long as we switch to the PA read play, which is a one play touchdown against every defense in the game, especially cover zero. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive in it. As we tie the game right back up, before he comes out an empty backfield look once again on the next play. So we switch back to the linebacker blitz to essentially get what is another sack. <laughs> And all these blitzes are the exact same, as all you have to do is cover the guard gap pre-snap before dropping back into coverage. But since he's been trying to force the ball to Mark Andrews, I know exactly where I'm dropping to. Gotcha, bitch! As we get another user lurk, before switching to a brand new offense out of the iForm close that I'm planning on bringing you guys very soon, as we bully his defense for an easy go-ahead score. Back on defense, since he had the most success running with Lamar, he tries it again, only this time we're waiting for that. Bring that ass here, boy. And he doesn't get much. He tries to run with the running back on the next play, and we push him back to the original line of scrimmage, as I don't think he has a positive run with his running back all game. Before we get him into another 4th and 10 that he decides to go for from his own 19, that he picks up on that damn curl route once again. And fuck this guy! Like, why aren't we getting the knockouts he was getting? Oh, okay, finally. Before he tries to force a deep to Andrews one more time, but we get another interception by Sidney Brown, only this time, we're taking it back to the end zone. He could go all the way. As we take a commanding two touchdown lead thanks to this defense. He keeps coming out of an empty backfield after that, so I switched to cover six to see what he can do against that defense. And now he's killing me with that curl to the slot receiver as the safety just can't drop down on it fast enough or get any type of knockout animation before he just activates Lamar's legs, as that is really all he's had going for him this entire game. Before he gets his first positive run with someone else, and now he's rolling as he gets inside the red zone before hitting that fucking curl route one more time for the hundredth time this game to end the half. He gets the ball after half as well with a chance to tie the game, so we need to make a stop. And now he is primarily hitting either the curl route or the crossing route to the tight end, and that is what this defense has reduced his offense to. He throws an out route in there every once in a while and a zig, but his offense is all adjustments at this point. As we switch to the cover six on the next play and play hard flats, it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. As Isaiah Rogers jumps a route for another pick six before we rub this one in nice and deep. Fuck you! as we now are sending heat on just about every single play and not giving up an inch as he tries to hit that curl route one more time. Wise guy, eh? And he like that. 
but we're waiting for it this time, buddy. And now we just have to pound the rock and kill some clock to take us to victory as we go back to the eye from close and just run the ball until he holds us to a field goal to take a three possession lead. But there is still the entire fourth quarter to play, or at least there would be if my opponent stuck around. Gotcha, bitch! As we get our sixth interception of the game, and my opponent is heading for the exit. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more about the offenses I was using in this game, I will have full breakdowns of them popping up on screen, just like I said earlier. So just click the links as I'm sure it offers the game. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Make it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.